Hi there, it's Andy here from Brown Dog Gadgets. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our very first circuit. And in order to correctly complete it, we'll first need to gather the following parts. We'll need an LED, battery holder, and a battery. With all of our circuits, we're first going to need to create some pathways laid atop our green Lego base plate with conductive maker tape. When correctly completed, your pathway systems for this circuit should look like this. With those pathways correctly laid out, the battery holder you gathered first should fit nicely within the gap toward the edge of your green Lego base plate. For our circuit to operate, we're going to need to add a battery. You should note that one side of your battery has a plus or positive sign indicated on it. Make sure that that side is facing up as you insert the battery into the battery holder. With your battery in place, grab the LED. Make sure that the LED's white stripe side is oriented towards the pathway that leads from the white stripe side of your battery holder. When pressing this component atop the pathway system, you should notice the light turning on. At any point, where the component bridges the gap between the two pathways. However, when we get to the point on the pathway system where the component does not bridge the gap between the two paths, you should notice that the LED in this case does not light up. Circuits are all about creating pathways that lead from and back to a voltage source. If at any time in any place there is a break within that pathway, we call it an open circuit, and your components will be off. However, if there are no breaks within that pathway system, we call it a closed circuit, and your components will be on. That's it for today's circuit. For a more detailed look at our curriculum, visit browndoggadgets.com.